this is another project that we did um, for the Expo 2005. Um, originally, the site was an ecologically sensitive site, and that there were um, species of butterflies on, and, and other species on that site which were sensitive. That if you build on it, you would you would uh, lose these species forever. So we said, look, why don't you have a vertical expo? So these, so these were ideas for the vertical expo. We took part in the competition, and we suggested that in the same way you would have a mass transit system around the city. We suggested the mass transit system wraps its way around the tower. In a, in a, as explained in our earlier sketches, you would have multiple users. The pavilions would be, or for the expo, would be tucked into the tower. We went to Japan several times, presented it twice, and they finally decided to go horizontal and went somewhere else. They set the original master plan at Kangokuma and pointed to somebody else. A lot of our work has to do to try and, and to, uh, to, to ensure a continuity, a nexus of vegetation going all the way up to the top of the building. So this was a scheme that we designed originally um, um, for a site somewhere between Tokyo and Nara, um, um, requested by my friend Mr. Kurukawa, and that um, these are sort of diagrams of what the floors would look like. These are studies on, 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 on a super tall skyscraper. This was to be a 500 meter skyscraper located somewhere in Japan. And the idea would be to have a spiraling system with, with, uh, with cherry pickers to serve the, um, to, to service the, the sky courts and, 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 to, and to clean the building and to provide safety uh, to people in the upper